Did you know that you can increase the amount of hits Furina summons do? Or that she changes the way you build your old characters? Welcome to 7 advanced tips for every Furina main. Let's start with the first tip. I've seen a lot of people, myself included in my last video, getting this wrong, but I did further testing and you know how there is a graphic indication that tells you when you reach a certain amount of fanfare point that will amount to a damage percentage buff and a healing bonus buff. The actual animations are at 75, 150 and 225 for the sea creatures and there is a splash in the middle of the screen when you reach 300. Bear in mind that this is for C0. If you have a new credit to go, now you know how much you actually buffed it by keeping track of these animations. You can also know the current amount of fanfare by opening your character menu, checking your healing bonus and dividing it by your talent healing multiplier. Of course, subtracting any extra healing you might have. Furina can do two things for your team. Enable Mario HC to basically anyone that is on field and wants to crit, and depending on the character, even if they don't care about normal and charge attack damage. Which is something to consider, especially when deciding which artifact to throw away and which to keep. She also does one more thing, which is making stats that characters scale off have a higher impact when compared to elemental damage or crit. Let's make an example of a totally off-field official in a Furina team. In this team, we have a C0 Kazuha and a C0 Furina, both buffing facial damage by quite a bit. What happens in this team is that we're stacking so many damage buffs that now dropping crit substats for attack substats can be beneficial. Not only, even dropping the electro damage goblet for an attack one could be beneficial. And it's likely at least on par with the electro one. And this scenario could apply to pyro units that vape and might want to go, I don't know, attack sense and elemental mastery goblet for example, or a hydro unit that could choose HP or attack for their goblet. So just keep in mind that your damage buffs, stats, crits and talent levels are all multiplied to each other. And to get the highest product out of a multiplication, raising all the numbers is better than raising just one of them. If you're looking for the best answer to your specific case, only a calculator like Genshin Optimizer will give you the perfect answer. Next, Furin applies a decent amount of Hydro, especially in single target scenarios and it can be used to sustain Vaporite's reactions for a character like Yoemiya. But it's not enough to sustain someone like Wu Tao, Klee or Dilu. So making a team with Yoemiya could now include a third unit of your choice and then a healer. And many are choosing to use Mika as it's amazing with Furina to stock her fanfare and gives Yoemiya lots of attack speed. But I want to point out two problems in a team like this. Problem number one, look at what happens when you go that high on attack speed. We stopped getting vaporized hits, so unfortunately Furina is not enough to sustain that and needs to be backed up by another Hydro unit. Okay, let's add Zinchu for resistance to interruption and more Hydro. The thing is, our hits are still very fast and we can keep the Hydro aura going, but relying on just Zinchu for resistance to interruption is not enough and a shielder would just be better. We could then use Zongli and any other healer and we would be fine, but all in all, I don't think these teams are the best use for Farina and I would rather see one of the older teams for a character like Yoemiya. The same, however, does not apply to Hu Tao and even the other reverse vape characters like Klee and Diluc. These are less influenced by being interrupted and can make good uses of Furina. So yeah, just wanted to give you a few things to consider when building a Furina team, especially for the case of Yoemiya, as it's been asked quite often. There are a few small tricks available to Furina. The first one is going to be somewhat useful, the second, well, you will see. Okay, so her burst cannot animation cancel her skill like many other characters can. And the fastest way to cast her skill is by dashing right after. This can be used together with the burst to decrease her on field time even if slightly. Now she has a couple more similar tricks that are available to her and that has to do with the way her summons attack. And particularly Krabaletta. She has no ICD on her attacks, meaning that she could technically vape every hit she does. She does also have the highest multiplier out of the three, but of course she's the slowest at attacking. She does a total of 6 hits in 30 seconds, so about 1 hit every 5 seconds, but the first one happens almost right away. What is technically possible here is to either resummon them when the skill is back up and right after a Krabaletta hit, meaning that she will cancel the extra time and get one attack in super fast, or we could do this. Spam 2 charge attacks every time Krabaletta hits, and that actually will result in up to 9 attacks, maybe even 10 with perfect execution, instead of the 6 of the full 30 seconds duration. 
It also kind of works for the other summons, but I dare anyone make a useful team out of this deck. Especially because being on field means losing the 4 piece golden chook buff. But if you ever want to try a Vapeletta team, I think it's fun, it's not that bad, just don't actually on field for dinner. Now a couple of fun facts, her fanfare can be gained via HP shifts and applies to anything the game gives you. Normal heals, damage taken and HP consumptions from anyone, of course. But you can also use weapons and technically artifacts that heal you. You can heal via the Statue of the Seven or you can take full damage. You can even just spam the food gadget and they will all work. But as a side note, there is this artifact set, the Vorukasha's Glow, that gives you skill and burst damage when taking damage, and it does not work with Furina. Furina consumes HP but doesn't make your character take damage, so it does not stock this set. Which is a shame because it would have been incredibly strong. Okay, and that was all. Any like or share is highly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.